Alright, uh, this is a tutorial on how to make a SIG for any forum. Alright, I already have an image here, it's 500 by 150. Just obviously you want to do is open Photoshop, you go to new, and then you just set it to 500 by 150. So right now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to background, I'm going to double click it to unlock it, and then click OK. I'm going to go to file, open, and then open any render of a character that you want to stand out. So I'm going to pick this person. It's going to open a new file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to image. I'm going to go to resize it to 500. Now I'm going to use a polygonal lasso tool to cut out the top half of his body from the chest up. I'm going to copy back to the original image and then paste it. And move it to wherever you want. Then I'm going to go to the original background. I'm going to go to gradient map, set it to black. What this does is adds the lighting to the picture. I can make the lighting go from anywhere, down, top, whatever. But I'm, right now I'm going to set it to all black because that's, uh, well, for me it's like a basic color. So I'm going to go to layer, new layer. Why? And this, what this will do is I will add a little more background to it. So I'm going to go to brush. This is a soft brush with a faded uh, faded corner, faded uh, edges. And you just draw whatever you want. Right now, I'm not going to go anything fancy because I'll am gonna i show you what to do next. So with this, it's still highlighted. So now you go to filter, you go to distort, and then you either go ripple or wave. I'm going to go first ripple and then wave. You can do whatever you want. I'm just going to set it off to this. That's fine by me. So now after that, and I'm going to go to wave to whatever you like doesn't matter alright now from here I'm gonna go to file I'm gonna go open and open a background render something that makes a picture stand out like this one it has something in the middle that will make the picture stand out right here so I'm gonna go to image resize it 924 I'm gonna use the cutting tool again kind of the top half copy it, go back to the original, and then paste it. Now put it to wherever you want, which makes the picture stand out. For me, it's right here. So I'm going to put this layer on the bottom, which makes the lights or the lines go over it, overlapping it. So now from here, I'm going to go to hard light, which makes adds a little more depth into it. I'm going to set the opacity to a little over 80. And then I'm going to go to filter, distort, and ripple. There we go. Alright. Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back to the original image, or not the original, the background render. I'm going to copy it. Back to the original. Paste it. Make it overlap it. Alright. I'm going to go here to lighten. Set the opacity just a little bit. All right, now from here, I'm going to use a smudge tool, which will smudge part of the background that I have highlighted right now. All right. I could be done from here, but I'm going to add a few more things. I'm going to go to filter, or never mind, I'm going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, and gradient map. I'm going to go to gray, which makes, it will add a little bit more lightning to it. So I'm going to go, I'm going to click this, I'm going to go to gray, double click gradient map. Now this is where it all starts, or it begins right here. Set it to wherever you want. here just add a little bit of border to it there we go all right now next I'm gonna go to layer again new adjustment layer and curves and one here just adds the lighting to the picture by the way so 
All right, perfect. Now I'm going to go to layer, make a new layer. All right, see, so yeah, see an empty layer. So I'm going to go to image, apply image. Now what this does is adds the image currently that it's already here to the layer. So which makes uh makes two of them. So I'm going to go to this. I'm going to go to hard light. Adds a lot more depth. And now I'm going to go to filter and sharpen. All right, now I'm going to erase all the parts that I don't want it to be too sharp, like this part, all the background. I just want the main character. So I'm just going to erase it. Erase those parts. I don't want it to be too much. And there you go. Um, you can put your name anywhere. But this is, yeah, this is how to make a basic but fancy signature. Um, yeah, that about that, it does it already here. So I'm going to, I'll be making a video later on uh, how to make uh, more advanced editing and, uh, yeah, all this gradient maps and everything. So, yeah, thank you for watching.